What's up, y'all? Um, today I'm be doing my very first video game review in mine. So I was like, "Ah, eh, screw it." I was re I wanted to review the new um Star Wars game, but nah. And then the new Call of Duty game, I knew I knew it would come out as good, so I was like, "Forget it," and then review a recent game that came out. It's Sonic Forces. If you don't know what that is, it's a new Sonic game that just came out after uh, Sonic Mania. It just came out like November 7th. And <laughs> sorry y'all, I am terrible at reviews so go ahead. I don't care if you like go into comments or anything. <laughs> they probably might be disabled or something. <laughs> the comments might be disabled or whatever. So go ahead and judge this video if you want, but I am this is my first review. So anyway, I'll be reviewing Sonic Forces for the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox Three One, sorry, and the PS Four. Meant to say Three Sixty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was about to say Three Sixty. But anyway, let's get into this review, shall we? All right. Before I move on, I was just gonna talk about a few good things about the game. Um, the first good thing, good thing about it, it's from the people that bought, that did Generations in Colors, and they brought back the boosting system, that which is good. Um, Classic Sonic Return, I kind of like it. They added the jump dash on them, and the custom character is a good idea. Adding Wispins, it's basically Wisps with who informs of a weapon uh yeah though and episode shadow dlc is pretty fun too it's basically a prologue to to the um story so yeah that's some uh pretty good things about the good that's some pretty good things about the game uh before i move on to this review there may be some spoilers up ahead so if you haven't played the game yet Please don't watch this video or whatever. So let's get into this review, shall we? Now, what I played when I played this game, it was good. The story, it was the same old classic. Doctor Eggman takes over the world, and it's up to Sonic, classic Sonic, and every, and all the Sonic's friends, including your custom character, for you to fight. The re fight the Eggman Empire and and take back the Earth. Well, that that's a good story. That is a good story. I knew um, it happened. The story was awesome. I liked it. And um, episode Shadow is was basically the was the um prequel to the main story. We have we play a Shadow. We know Infinite, Infinite was, like, Infinite, right before Infinite became powerful with, uh, Phantom Ruby, he was like a, um, some sort of spy or something, I don't know. He was like a regular type of guy who first encountered Shadow, he was working with Eggman for, he was working with Eggman and then, uh, he encountered Shadow, he... Shadow beated him, and then uh, the Witcher was so cool. Infinite was angry, and he was like, I'm not weak, I'm not weak. And then he became Infinite ever since, which was pretty cool. I like Infinite, his powers. It, from the Phantom Ruby, the Phantom Ruby made an appearance in uh, Sonic Mania. And, uh,. Here's one interesting thing. Sonic Mania is actually connected to Sonic Forces. Because, um, if you come to think of it, the Phantom Ruby affects time and space around an era or something, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, like, it, if, it affects people's time what will happen around the timeline and stuff. Yeah, basically that. Um 
and also Sonic's uh classic Sonic's uh drop dash has come back so I assume that's the um pre that's basically Sonic Mania sequel. Sonic Forces is the sequel to Sonic Mania. <laughs> Alright. I got the story going down. But now we're gonna move on to the gameplay. When I first saw the gameplay it was when I first played it though, I played like thirty minutes of the game. Uh as far as I know my I know somebody who beat the game already. It had it had a total of thirty stages. Um tag team which include plus it includes tag team classic Sonic stages, modern Sonic stages, and uh custom character stages. Tag team stages are pretty similar to Sonic Heroes. Let me like when you're playing a tag team stage, you feel you it's feel like you've been playing Sonic Heroes again. Which is pretty, pretty, pretty fun, come to think of it. And alright. Going back to the gameplay. Modern Sonic's gameplay um is basically the same thing like in uh generations and colors and especially Unleashed because Unleashed started off with the boosting system. Alright, Sonic modern Sonic's gameplay does have the boosting system, but they don't have the drift anymore, you know? The drift you like hold down the left the left trigger and then you just use the analog stick to move around. That's basically um the drift. If you catch my drift. That was corny. That was so corny in many ways. Alright, moving on. Classic Sonic stages. Pretty much the same thing, but with the drop dash. That's what I like about it. And the custom character stages. Well, come to think of it, whenever you like um use your uh, burst wisping, it sometimes can be very difficult to use. To be honest, like let's say this: you once you use your like tether rope thing, your uh, whatever grapple thing, and after you attack an enemy, and then you want to use your uh, burst wisping to attack. Sometimes you get hit by the enemy and then it just straight up gets you hit or something like that. Last time I played, like in stage 14, I don't know, like stage 14 or 13 or something, like I don't know, but anyway, the gameplay is average they don't despite the drift despite i mean like they brought back the double jump that was good i mean like honestly like playing lost world again but without the drift and they do have the double jump but they add the boosting system again but if you if for most of y'all sonic fans out there have been playing uh Generations and colors, probably most of y'all probably like the boosting the drift system. Sorry, um, <clears throat> the drifting is pretty much important to Sonic's gameplay in uh, generations. Like, I'm sorry, um. Modern Sonic's gameplay and Modern Sonic's drifting in uh, generations and colors and Unleashed especially. I'm not going to leave it out. We're, we're very important to Modern Sonic's gameplay. So, it's gone, but Lost World probably didn't have it. Lost World didn't have the drift, so think. Forces is the lost world for modern Sonic. <clears throat> but in conclusion, uh, it's a pretty okay game. I've been seeing a lot of hate towards it. I don't know why I've been seeing a lot of hate. I mean, like, it's a pretty good title, to be honest. 
and um, our rated eight. I rate it eight point one. So, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed this crappy review. Hope you enjoyed this crappy review. Don't go disliking the video. Just turn the volume up if you can't hear my voice. I'm a little sick, to be honest. And if you want more, if you want more reviews, just comment down below, and then I. We might release another review. I might review release a review on um, Battlefront 2. And yeah. Down to wrap up this video. Forces is, Forces is pretty okay. Forces is okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm sorry. This is my first review. Don't. Don't blame me. This is honestly my very, very, very first video game review. I might do more if I can get better. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.